Hi everyone, Ironclad Cobra here, and welcome to another Retroid Pocket 3 Plus video. As I mentioned earlier in my videos, this is one of the greatest Android devices. Today I'm showcasing one of the coolest Android front ends that you can use, which is called Daijisho. Of course, I'll include a quick guide in the video description. I will also include a quick guide for the Retroid launcher or the official stock OS. In case you want to stay with that, fine. If you would like to set up Daijisho on your RP3 Plus, that guide will help you as well. Before I start with Daijisho, let me just mention that this is one of the greatest Android devices. And of course, as you know, it's around $150, but currently it's on sale. So if you're interested in picking one up, make sure to go to Retroid's website. I'll include the link in the video description, which is now is offering it for $135. So it's $15 less from the retail price. Okay, as you know, it has great features. It's the Unisoc Tiger T618 chipset, which plays PS1, PSP, N64, Dreamcast very, very well. When it comes to GameCube, PS2, and Wii, it's more like a hit and miss. So if you are a person who is interested in these kind of systems, up to PSP, PS1, this plays it very very well look at it or think about ps2 wii and um, gamecube as a bonus okay guys as you know one of the greatest features of the rp3 plus is the stacked shoulder buttons as you see hdmi out very good build quality as well um, it's technically around the size of a phone so it's basically a phone with controllers, as you see, which offers you great pocketability, portability, and size factor. And of course, it's a thin device compared to other consoles as well. Okay, guys, so this was just a quick recap with the RP3 uh, Plus features. I'm going to start up the device now. You will be greeted with the Retroid friendly interface, as you see. Now it's going directly to Daijisho. Of course, you can have Daijisho from the Play Store. It's a free Android emulator app so you can simply download it from the Play Store. Okay, so as you see here, I tried to make my RP3 Plus the ultimate retro handheld device. So as you see here, I have 40 systems or 40 platforms installed starting from the Ataris, one of my favorites, 3DO, so I'm just going through the systems while I talk about the RP3+. Plus. And installing Daijisho is quite simple, as I mentioned. Make sure you have your game ROMs on the micro SD card and your BIOS as well. Uh, it's just setting up like a like an Android system. Um, there will be also a detailed uh, link for some of the videos that I will include from Retro Game Corps, one of the greatest guides out there. They will be also in the video description. Okay, as I mentioned, up to PSP, PS1. Dreamcast N64 plays very very well. Higher than that, it will be more like a bonus or hit and miss. Okay, PS2 as you see, PSP, PS1, 
Sega Saturn plays well too. Some videos as well, and we. Okay, so let me just offer you a quick guide. More detailed information will be in the video description. So basically, first what you need to do once you have um, Daiji Show from the Play Store, you can go to the download section here. You tap on it, one sec, and here you can choose all the systems you would like to show on your front end. And then you go to import and all of them will be added to your front end. So that will be adding your systems. The other thing is if you would like to add your game ROMs, you have to go to paths here. Just a sec. And then you go to add more. When you go to add more, make sure you choose your micro SD card as you see. That's where your ROMs would be. And then you navigate down to the section or the folder that says Retroid Pocket Games. And then ROMs. And then you choose the ROMs that you would have or you would like. For example, I think this was the Sharp X68000. And then you just click on Use the folder. So basically all your ROMs will be added to the system. And then of course, you go to Finish. And after that, when you go on Sync, it will add all your game ROMs. One other thing as well to consider is this edit button. If you go here, it shows you the system where you have to point to the emulator or to the ports or, and, and cores. So make sure you have the correct emulator here in the section that says player settings. So this is where you have to direct your get system or your ROMs. Okay, and then you go save. So it's quite simple. It will take you some time, but I think there are lots of guides there and I included quick setup in the video description that would help you too. Okay guys, I think that would be for today. This is a quick one. I really appreciate uh, your time watching the video. If you have any questions, include them in the video description. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and always remember we don't stop gaming because we grow old, we grow old because we stop gaming.